We know what you're thinking. Is this some kind of how-to sugar baby guide? We promise you that's a hell no. Truth is, wanting to attract a rich spouse isn't really something to look down on no matter your net worth. However, many successful women just want to break the cycle of partners who are either insecure of their financial status or just plain freeloading. Today, we're looking at 10 ways to attract a rich man into your life. Number one, know your worth. We've said it before and we'll say it again. Confidence is hella sexy. If you're looking to settle down with a high net worth individual, you best be placing a high value on yourself first. In how we think of ourselves and how we treat ourselves, we're basically teaching others how they should treat us too. Something to always remember is that we attract the kind of energy we put out. Successful people attract other successful people. So check your vibe and make sure it's well aligned. And speaking of being in alignment, Number two, exhibit values important to them. Like any relationship, it works best when your values align. Things like trust, compassion, and empathy are big ones, but also things like politics, humanitarian issues, and future goals. Wealthy people don't want to mess around playing games. They want to get on the same page sooner rather than later. Their time is too important to waste. And if this person is looking to have kids and create some kind of legacy for them, they want someone well-suited to be their kid's mother. And on the flip side, you should be looking out for the same stuff. Relationships are a two-way street, Aluxer. Teamwork makes the dream work. Number three, be supportive and understanding of their career. Look, let's be real. These folks you're looking to partner up with, their work is their baby. They grew their fortunes through devotion to work and it's important that you support them. In healthy ways, obvi. If they start exhibiting some mad hermit energy, maybe intervene or something, I don't know. But as a general rule, these people will work a lot. They will think about their work a lot. And if that's something you don't want to compete with, then maybe reevaluate who you want as a partner. With the right person, you won't have to compete because all their drive and success will only further fire you up. Number four, keep it classy while being assertive. Blending in and being submissive might work for more insecure men, but a powerful and wealthy individual wants a partner who can tactfully handle all kinds of situations with class and grace. In life, there'll be many a situation where you're faced with the option of freaking the fuck out or taking a breath, grounding yourself, and assertively taking control. Mastering your emotions is a badass power move, one that will help you land a high net worth individual. Number five, constantly grow your intelligence. Rich people read a lot. They're up to date with everything important to them and want a partner who can keep up, someone they can have meaningful conversations with, someone who can give them solid advice when they need it, someone who isn't boring AF. You become this person by being a lifelong learner, and it's not something that requires you to go back to school ever again. It's just about being engaged in the world and taking in new information daily, which realistically isn't something that comes easy to a lot of people, but we can help. A few months ago, we launched our latest course called Learning Mastery, where we teach you how to take any topic or skill and successfully teach yourself anything you wish. The course is currently closed while our first group of self-learners work their way through. But if you go to alux.com slash courses and get on the waiting list, you'll be the first to know when the doors open back up. And like, I don't know if I'm supposed to say this or not, but usually there's a promo code discount for those on the list. Just saying. Number six, lead a full life. There is an underrated value in being with someone because you want to, rather than because you need to. Having a full life with well-formed relationships, a wide-ranging intelligence, and cultural awareness means you bring a lot to the table, and wealthy people want that in a partnership. Don't you? As we already mentioned, folks in this kind of financial bracket are busy and they work a lot. They don't want a partner who makes them responsible for all entertainment and happiness. That shit's not sustainable. Having your own life, hobbies, and friends is vital to thrive in this kind of pairing. Number seven, be in power circles. In order to attract these people, it's kind of important to be within their proximity, yeah? 
High net worth individuals, on top of reading a lot, also attend a lot of seminars and conferences to constantly grow their intelligence and keep on top of trends in their field. And when they're not working, they take part in things like charity golf tournaments and silent auction galas. And in these places, you'll have ample opportunity to mingle with potential suitors. Exhibit all of these traits in power circles, and those also looking will definitely take notice. Number 8. Be ambitious in your life and career Wealthy people who've grown fortunes themselves are by nature ambitious, and they want that in a partner, someone willing to go after it as much as they are. Think about it, your partner is supposed to be your biggest cheerleader and support system. When things get hard and focus is lost, they want someone who can fire them back up again, using fuel from their own ambition tank. The right person will help you to stay inspired, and ambition is a key ingredient. Number 9. Be rich yourself Unless said rich person is only looking for a sugar baby, no judgment. A high net worth individual is looking for someone who can bring something of their own to the table. Chances are this wealthy individual has been taken advantage of in the past. It's all too common for them to be singled out and for others to try and milk the relationship for all it's worth. They're wary of wealth gaps, not because they're greedy, because they've been burned. Having your own wealth at least gives them some peace of mind that you're not just in it for the money. You don't need them to provide for you. And that removes a lot of pressure. Number 10. Be the whole package. Sounds like a ridiculously high standard, but that's kind of a matter of perspective. All these attributes can be onboarded with a little mindfulness and effort. Now obviously, the being rich yourself part will require considerably more effort, but there are plenty of examples where being rich was not a prerequisite for marrying a high net worth individual. You just have to get real with yourself about what you're looking for versus what you have to offer. Remember what I said in number one? We attract what we put out there. So in this context, you gotta be using the right kind of bait. All right, Alexer, that's a wrap on today's list about attracting a rich man, or woman for that matter, it goes both ways. Is there anything you would add to the list? Drop your tips in the comments and join the conversation, we'll be right there with ya. And of course, you know what happens next, right? You're still here, it's the end, and that means you're getting a bonus. Use a matchmaker. Okay, not gonna lie, people might tease you over this, but there are plenty of people who've made a lucrative living acting as a matchmaker for the wealthy. Matches are vetted based on interests and compatibility on all kinds of different levels, from superficial things like appearance to deeper things like personal and family values. If you're looking for someone who has as much to offer up as you do, there's no shame in having a professional help you out. It's like a hands-free Tinder. Nobody asks for nudes. Thanks for hanging out with us today, Aluxer. If you enjoyed today's video, do us a solid and hit that like button. Click the bell icon to never miss another upload, and don't forget to subscribe.